Hi, good morning. We're in Clifton in Bristol and we're on a photo walk today and we're going to be photographing the Clifton Suspension Bridge. It's 2016, it's February, it's cold. This is tdcat.com. We're now approaching the first spot that we're going to photograph the bridge from. It's the, the spot where everybody photographs this bridge from with their phones, with their cameras, with they want their portrait taken against it. Um, it's a good spot, it's very, very overdone, uh, but we're going to see what we can do and see if we can make, just make it look nice like everybody else does. Now today I'm going to be shooting with my only camera and uh, for those of you that are old enough to remember it it is a Nikon or a Nikon D80. It's old but it's a great little camera you know. So I've been up here so many times taking photos from different angles and as I was walking past I just looked to my left as I was walking past and saw this angle and you know what I don't know, maybe it's winter, maybe it's because all the uh, shrubbery has just been trimmed back. It's amazing. There you go, Nikon D80. Uh, on the front of it is a Sigma 30mm lens. It's the one point. 4D, so it's an older lens, it's metal construction, it's really quite nice. I'm using, uh, I'm always in manual mode, most of it, well, I say always. If I'm photographing people in uh, high speed locations or situations, then I tend to go on to aperture priority, but for this sort of thing, I'm on manual, I've got time. The, the light is changing, there's, um, there's a lot of cloud about, um, and the sun's in and out, so the light does change. I think, uh, I think we're, we'll get some good photos here today. It is quite busy though, there's a lot of people on the bridge. Let's, let's see what we get. So now we have, we're still at an angle, but we have more of a side on view of the bridge. Uh, we can see now from this point here, we can see actually how high we are. I'm not great with heights, by the way. Uh, but we have the River Avon that runs through the, river, the Avon Gorge down here uh, and the, the river's right up as well, it's completely, yeah, tide is in. Uh, we're shooting more into the sun from this location, so we're, we're obviously not going to get so many colours, it's going to be more contrasty, more mm, silhouette type photo maybe. I must breathe when I'm taking photos. <laughs> so I tend to uh, I, I tend to hold my breath a lot while I'm while I'm taking a photo. It's a technique to help steady the camera. But then, if you're like me and you're dillying and dallying, trying to establish a, an exposure, you realise you've been holding your breath for about two minutes. Um, probably not good to pass out here. This railing's not very high. <laughs> Just to the right of me is the Clifton Observatory. It's home to the camera, ab camera obscura, which lives up in the roof. It's also home to the Giant's Cave. Now the Giant's Cave runs down below our feet and comes out somewhere on the cliff face. It's just somewhere below the bridge. It's gonna give us a great angle, something different from what we've done so far. It's gonna be into the sun, so it's good silhouettes. Now we have to pay to go in, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth it. So the steps go down for a little while and it does level out, it's very interesting. Wow.
Wow. <laughs> This is the, the giant's cave, although it wasn't very giant. I think giants were a lot smaller back then, back in the days when this cave was formed. Um, it's a pathway that was certainly not designed for two-way traffic, but it was, it didn't take very long. I have no idea how people got up and down here before that staircase was put in. Maybe ropes and a good pair of boots. I'm really just exposing to make sure there's just a little bit of detail in the shadow areas, that it's not blacking out too much. And hoping that the sun doesn't blow out too much, which it's going to. I'm using a 15mm lens. Yeah, artistic, it's not bad. This is one of the widest sections. As you can see, it's nicely lit. Some nice cables. I've got a torch in my bag if the power in here fails. So we're all right. Well, that was pretty great. It was a little bit scary sometimes in that tunnel, but it was, it was very small, very narrow, and we had to pass a group of people. But we got the shot. I'm pretty sure we got the shot. I mean, it's just they look good on my camera what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to road level and we're going to try and get a shot that i've been wanting for a long time That was all right. Am I going to die? No. Which one? Hello. Hi. Can you have permission to film on the bridge? Oh, do we? Oh, really? You do indeed. Yeah. Oh, right. Because it's private property. Okay. Yeah. What is it you're filming? Oh, it's just we're just doing a, a like a photography thing right. around Bristol. Okay. Um, I'm taking photographs of things and he's filming me taking, taking photographs of things. Yeah, unfortunately, because it's private property, right. we have to get permission after, yeah, particularly we, we don't want you standing in the road for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, apparently the bridge is private property. I never knew that. Uh, it kind of makes sense, really. Um, so we've, it's the first time ever that I've been told off, it wasn't really a telling off, told that I couldn't photograph somewhere because of private property read about it loads on the internet loads of people ask that question what do i do about photographing on private property you obey the rules if they say you can't photograph there you don't photograph there so we're not going to do it although i did get a great shot and it was the shot that i wanted the thing i'm having trouble with with because this is technically it's architectural photography because it's a piece of architecture i guess is when I take the photos, having the tower looking vertical. But actually, when I look at the tower here, without the camera, it doesn't look vertical. It looks like it's leaning to the right a little bit. But obviously, in a photograph, it becomes more... Because your brain tells you that it is both vertical when you're looking at it. But when you look in a photograph, you're only seeing it in 2D. So if it is slightly off and slanted, it looks bad and slanted. So the challenge is now is to photograph that and make it look erect straight up and it's difficult I think that should do it Well, 
That's almost it from us today. This is our first ever episode doing anything like this. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this. Uh, we've really enjoyed doing it. We really hope you've enjoyed watching it. But there is one more spot to photograph this bridge from. Here, with a wonderful view of the bridge. So we have absolutely gorgeous fluffy white clouds sitting above and behind the, tr uh, the bridge. Beautiful blue skies, the sun is out, it's lighting those trees up, it's lighting the bridge up, it's reflecting off the water nicely. Uh, it's, there's some houses down there that are just, oh, it's just gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. Just gonna... I'm just not sure if I'm a good enough photographer to actually do this scene justice. But I am enjoying myself, so I guess that is the most important thing here. Oh, this is beautiful. Well, that's all from us today. I uh, really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, so just say so in the comments. Uh, we're kind of planning to do it anyway, but if we have your feedback and your desires to see more, then we're more likely to do it. Uh, we'll also be bringing you some reviews uh, and tutorials on photography and, and maybe some more specialist stuff in the future. But for now, this is tdcap.com signing off.